to EZLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on the uh, Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is Quadratic Expressions and Equations. Our subtopic is Expansion of Fractions. So remember in the previous uh, videos we talked about the expansion of whole numbers. You can go back and check the step by step. It's important you see how we expand the expressions with whole numbers before you go to fractions. But for today, we are going to focus uh, on fractions, still using the same formula, but the only difference is we are working with fraction numbers. So you rem remember that a quadratic expression is any expression in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, where our a is not equal to zero. So we want to expand this value so the first thing you need to do is interpret this question well. When you see this value in bracket squared, it means it has been multiplied by itself two times. So this is going to be 1 over 4 minus 1 over x. You multiply by itself two times. It's like that. So let's work this out together. So we said you can use one expression to multiply the other one. So we we'll use the first one to open the second one. So it's going to be a 1 over 4 into bracket 1 over 4 minus 1 over x. And then minus 1 over x into bracket 1 over 4 minus 1 over x. So let's do this slowly by slowly. So 1 over 4 times 1 over 4 will give us 1 over 16 minus 1 over 4 times 1 over x is equals to 1 over 4x. You just notice that it's 1 over 4 times 1 over x. We're just multiplying the denominators and the numerators, which gives us 1 over 4x. Then minus 1 over x times 1 over 4. So this is going to be minus 1 over 4x. And then finally, 1 over x. And remember, this is minus 1 over x times minus 1 over x, which gives us a positive 1 over x squared since there are two x's. Be careful with the minus. It's minus times minus will give us positive. Minus times positive will give us minus. And then positive times positive will give us positive. All right, so we put our light terms together. And our light terms together is 1 over 4x minus 1 over 4x. And it's minus minus. So this is a normal fraction. You can take it as a normal fraction because, so let's write this expression one more time. Minus 1 over 4x minus 1 over 4x uh, plus 1 over x squared. So this is 1 over 4x minus minus 1 over 4x. You can take it like a normal fraction and the LCM was going to be 4x, of course. So 4x divided by 4x is 1, so it's minus 1. Minus 4x divided by 4x is 1, so minus 1, which gives us minus 2 over 4x. You see how I did that? You do the same. So this is 1 over 16 minus 2 over 4x plus 1 over x squared. So alternatively, you can leave your answer in fraction form or you can eliminate the fraction. So let me show you how to do that. So let's eliminate the fraction. So we repeat this value here, 1 over 16 minus 2 over 4x plus 1 over x squared. When you have values that are fractions, normally when we do the normal fraction questions, we look for the LCM of the denominators. So our denominators are 16, 4x, squared, 4x and x squared. So the first value we are going to use is x, which is going to, this is 16, this is going to be 4, and then this is going to be x. We use another x, which is 16. I'm just doing the LCM, but you can see we have unknown. So just and see how we are doing it. So, and then four, uh, four, one, one, and then 
4, 1, 1, 1. So our LCM is going to be 4 times 4 times x times x, which is going to give us 16x squared. So this is what we multiply everywhere. So we are going to multiply this fraction by 16x squared. We multiply this by 16x squared. And we multiply this by 16x squared. So 16 divided by 16x squared, the 16 cancels, and you're left with x squared. Note what I've done. Then minus this x cancels with one of the x, and the 4 cancels with 16 to form 4x. You're left with 4x. So 4x times 2 is 8x. Then plus our x squared cancels completely, and you're left with 16. So this is our expression, but not in fraction form. Remember, if you have been taught to leave it in simplest form, or if you have been taught to remove the fraction, this would, would work for you. And most of the time when you are doing these expressions, if you put it in this form, it makes your work uh, a bit easier. So let's do a few more examples so that you can see that step again. So we will do the first example. Uh, maybe the second one, and then you can work out the rest. So we have 1 over 2 plus x. This means if it's squared, it means you're multiplying it by 2. So we are going to use one expression to open the other one. So it's going to be 1 over 2, 1 over 2 plus x, then plus x, 1 over 2 plus x, just like that. Let's open 1 over 2 times 1 over 2 gives us 1 over 4, plus 1 over 2 times x gives us 1 over 2x, plus x times 1 over 2 gives us 1 over 2x, and x times x will give us x squared. So we put the light terms together, which is 1 over 4. So this is a half plus a half. You can do the normal fraction, a half plus a half. The LCM is going to be 2. This is 1 plus 1, which gives us 2 over 2, which is the same as 1. So plus x, because it's 1x, you don't write 1x in, in math. It's already 1, so there's no need for you to put the 1. Then plus x squared. You can decide to leave your answer in this form, or you can put all of them in the same denominator. So the LCM is going to be 4, because it is 1, 1, 4, which gives us 4. So you multiply by 4 everywhere, by 4 everywhere, by 4 everywhere. So it's going to look like this, 1 over 4 times 4 plus x times 4 plus x squared times 4. So this is going to be 1 plus 4x plus 4x squared. And this is your final answer. Or you can leave your answer as a fraction. All right, let's do another example. So the second one, which is, or we can do the one that has a mixture, which is a 4x, and then you can try this on your own, minus 3 over 4. You multiply this by 2 times. So we are going to use one expression to open the other expression. So 4x into bracket. 4x minus 3 over 4, and then minus 3 over 4, 4x minus 3 over 4, just like that. So 4x times 4x gives us 16x squared. 4x times minus 3 over 4. It's like this, 3 over 4 times 4x. So 4 and 4 cancels, you're left with 3x, but it's minus, so it's minus 3x. Then minus the same thing, 3 over 4 times 4x, the 4 cancels, you're left with 3x. Very careful. Then minus 3 over 4 minus 3 over 4, this gives us 9 over 8, and it is plus. Because it's minus times minus, which gives us plus. So you put the light terms together, which is 16x squared, minus 3x minus 3x gives us minus 6x. Go and check the number line put from 1 plus 9 over 8. So you can leave your answer this way or you can go ahead and 
remove the fraction. So we can remove the fraction in this way. So 6x squared minus 6x plus 9 over 8. This is over 1. This is over 1. So the LCM of 8, 1, 1 is 8. So you multiply by 8 everywhere. So this is going to give us 16. Uh, 16 times 8, which gives us 128. Minus 6 times 8, which is going to give us 48. Then plus 8 and 8 cancels your left with me. So notice how we did that. LCM is the one that helps us uh, to tackle uh, these questions. So I hope you have been able to see how we have expanded fractions. The fractions are bit, require a bit more work in comparison to whole numbers, but you can check out more revision questions and also the, the values that we have not finished working. You can practice on them, that one question, and also note on the app. See you in the next lesson.